Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. So today we're gonna to be talking about who you should hire when going through a divorce process, and specifically what we refer to as your divorce team. So what most people think of when they're going through a divorce process is it's a legal process, so I have to hire an attorney. The thing is, attorneys have a great part in a divorce process in certain circumstances, but there's so many people that can add value to your divorce team. So we're gonna break those down today in each of their roles. So traditionally, first off is an attorney, what you usually think of when going through a divorce process. An attorney is a licensed professional who typically specializes in a specific area of law. If you're looking for a divorce attorney, I recommend going with someone who specializes in divorce or family law, as that's really going to be their focus, and they're going to be able to provide you the best services and information. What an attorney does is they work with an individual to represent them and their legal rights. Now, attorneys are going to be the most expensive option when going through a divorce process. I have other videos up about what your process options are, what they cost, and their length of time, so I would recommend checking those out. But they are gonna be the most expensive option as they usually require a retainer up front, you know, typically around $5,000, and they bill against it for all their work and then ask for more. Typically, if you go through a litigated process where you're, an, you're using an attorney in an adversarial process, basically attorney and client versus attorney and client, so you and your attorney versus the attorney of your spouse and your spouse, what happens is it becomes very adversarial, fighting, and so it makes your process very long and very time consuming. Now, your second option is mediation. Mediation is a third party neutral helping you reach your decisions outside of court. Just because you're using mediation doesn't mean that you lose the right to have attorneys. I have clients that come to mediation who bring their attorneys with them, or they will refer to their attorneys outside of mediation. It's gonna be a cost saving because it's lower conflict. The lower conflict, the shorter your process, the less expensive your divorce is going to be. Now, a mediator can have a number of different backgrounds. They could be like myself, where I'm an attorney and a CDFA is my background. We'll go over what a CDFA is. Or it could be someone who is a therapist, for example. The thing is, mediation is not regulated like the legal field is in terms of an attorney. So it's really important that you interview your mediator to understand what their background is. Do they specialize in helping with divorces? Do they have a legal background, therapeutic background, social work background, or are they just Joe on the corner who calls themselves a mediator? You wanna make sure that the person's gonna be the right fit for you, and also that you understand their process and their background. Most mediators are going to offer, just like attorneys, a free consultation or a consultation for a small fee. So I recommend trying out some, in, some consultations, interviewing them, and getting some information about what option is going to be best for you. Now, other professionals that are going to help you through your process. There's something as I referred to as a CDFA, Certified Divorce Financial Analyst. This is a professional who has worked in the legal field or financial field related to divorce for about three or more years before they go back to get certified as a CDFA. A CDFA, like myself, helps people with their finances during their divorce. So some ways they can help is helping you budget, understanding your financial disclosures, that's the disclosure of all of your assets, debts, and income that you provide to your spouse and your spouse provides to you. They also can help you do a breakdown of what are some ways that you could split your assets and debts and what would that look like. They can help you understand your goals. So your goal maybe is to keep your house. So if that's the case, how could we break down the division of assets and debts so that is possible? And they can also help with other things like, I refer to it more as divorce financial coaching. So particularly if you're not the breadwinning spouse or a stay at home spouse where you haven't been involved with the finances, CDFA can be really helpful to help you understand what is there that you need to divide, what things might help you towards your plans or goals for the future, and really break down and understand the minutia of your assets and debts during your process, including negotiated offers. So what can you bring to the table to negotiate during your mediation meetings? 
So that's going to be a CDFA, number three. Number four is going to be a mental health professional or therapist. A therapist or mental health professional can be helpful in so many capacities versus an individual. A divorce is a very emotional process, and so it can be helpful to work through those emotions with a trained professional. You may also consider going to what's called uncoupling therapy with your spouse, which basically helps you to work through separating your relationship. Or if you have children, it could be that you go to family therapy or that you go to therapy in terms of just your children going or you going with your children. Those can all be options to help every kind of one process and work through the emotions of the divorce process. Another option is what's called a divorce coach. A divorce coach is someone who helps an individual work towards looking towards their future. So past the divorce, processing the divorce and looking towards what are their options for the future, what kind of you know, skills might they need to work with their co-parent. A lot of times divorce coaches are also called um, parenting coaches or co-parenting coaches, basically helping two parents as they're going into this co-parenting relationship have better communication, set good expectations. Also a divorce coach can help you kind of move towards your future and how you're going to interact with your former spouse in the future. So that can be a really helpful resource. A couple other resources. How about an appraiser? Someone that's going to value your house or a business evaluator. Someone that's going to value your business. So when you go to divide that asset, you actually know exactly how much that amount is going to be for the value. So then you can divide it properly. Another person who I love to include in the process, particularly if you're looking at keeping your home after the divorce process, is a certified divorce lending professional. This is a person who is a lender or broker for mortgages, and they're going to help you really look at the numbers. Can you afford to keep your house? If you do keep your house, how much money do you need to take out of your house to be able to maybe pay off the other person for their equity portion of the house. In addition to that, they can look at, to be able to qualify for the house in your own name, how much support do you need to receive from the other person and how long do you need to be paid that amount? They're really gonna break down those numbers and their services are typically free. They get paid if you move forward with getting a mortgage through them. So it's a great opportunity to have a service, have that extra information without taking on additional expenses. There are so many people that can help you through your process. That could be a realtor who really understands helping you sell or buy a home during a divorce or even finding a rental property. There are so many people that can help you along the way. So it's about creating a divorce team that works for you. You don't need every single person in every single type of divorce. So for example, if you don't own a business, you don't need a business evaluator. If you don't own a home, you don't need an appraiser or a certified divorce lending professional. Those are people you don't need on your team if that is not your specific circumstance. That's why I think that working collaboratively in a divorce is really helpful because what it's doing is your professional is helping bring in the people that you need and you can bring in the people that you want to as well to really benefit your process. A lot of these professionals can also help you after the fact as well. So for example, the division of your retirement account is typically handled by a quadro specialist, someone that drafts up the special documents that are needed to divide specific retirement accounts. Divorce coaches work with people throughout their divorce, but also after, just as therapists do. And as a CDFA, I help people during their process of divorce with their finances, but then I always refer them over to a financial advisor or financial planner who can help you with your finances after the divorce when you're looking towards your future. So there's all these little components and people that can help you along the way and help you feel supported instead of feel lost in your process. And again, it can sound expensive, like you're adding all these people on, but you're only adding the people that you need. And the goal is if your professionals are working collaboratively together, it's actually keeping your costs pretty low. So for example, with a case of mine, when people are in mediation, they're typically going to be paying their fees for mediation, which 
we go over in other videos are going to be typically between five and seven thousand dollars could be a bit more could be a bit less depending on your case that's in comparison in arizona to each per person paying a minimum of twenty five thousand dollars to each of their attorneys so there's cost savings there then if the clients choose to use attorneys they're just using attorneys for specific things let that be just them attending meetings with their mediator or having them review the documents that the mediator drafts or potentially drafting documents for them if their mediator doesn't handle that. That's gonna keep your costs much lower on the attorney end because ultimately they're doing a lot less work and there's a lot less conflict to be handled through the litigation system, i.e. the courts. Then if you want to add people on, let's say that you add on a CDFA. You might be taking on you know, around 200 to 300 dollars an hour but they may only need a few hours to handle some pieces as we talked about certified divorce lending professional is going to be free it's only going to be an expense typically if you actually get a mortgage with them so what you're looking at is let's say you are going to just hire an attorney you're going to pay a minimum of twenty-five thousand dollars on average in arizona again that's the average could be less could be more depending on your case or you could pay, for example, let's say around five to six thousand dollars for your mediator, and then you have some additional expenses on top of it. The other clarification is it's twenty-five thousand dollars per person per attorney, so that's fifty thousand dollars total for a divorce. Or you could be paying five to six thousand total for a mediator, plus the pieces that you want to add on, where you're adding on some time with your attorney, you're adding on some time with a CDFA. Your process is ultimately going to be much less expensive, but now you're getting this breadth of knowledge and all of these people on your team that you're paying for less than you would if you were just paying for one professional. Just something to think about and what kind of support you want. You can always ask your divorce professional what you should be using in terms of specialists or individuals to help with your case as you go along. So I hope that was helpful in understanding who can be on your divorce team. As always, if you have any questions, please put them in the comments below. And you can always check out more information at couplesolutioncenter.com. But until then, I will look forward to seeing you this time next week. Bye.